Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video I'll be showing you how to mine Flux on a 2GB and 3GB graphics card, and of course anything above 3GB, but I just want to focus on the lower end, so 2GB and 3GB graphics cards. I'm going to be showing you guys both how to get those set up in mining flux so you can go ahead and start this yourself now normally i know for the intro of my videos like i've been showing like my graphics card and the power it's been running on that algorithm and everything but currently my mining rig setup is still mining neoscript zaya so i didn't want to stop it from doing that and then set up flux just for this purpose so i'm just gonna briefly explain like what results i'm getting on my gtx 1063 gigabytes and even my four gigabyte one i find it works best though with three gigabyte graphics cards it's the most comfy there because this coin or algorithm because it's on the equihash 125.4 algorithm is strictly made for gpus i believe and it's not so much for a6 and fpgas and things like that so it definitely makes it a lot easier for lower end graphics cards or any graphics cards of the sort to actually mine and get rewarded in flux so it's a little bit better profitability for three gigabyte graphics cards again just like my last video on the ne uh, neoscript zaya it was mainly for three gigabytes because that's where the most power i found uh, what these coins has been going to so I'm just making these videos to show you guys that you can mine these algorithms and coins and convert them to other things if you want or you can just strictly mine flux if you want because there are pools where you can go ahead and solo mine flux coin and even if you have lower end equipment like myself it might still be worth it to go ahead and mine on the equihash algorithm and mine flux so yeah overall on the equihash 125.4 algorithm my gtx 1060 three gigabytes i have two of them remember that uh, i get around i believe it's 50 to 60 souls i think it's calculated in so sol slash s sets the calculation speed so i get around 40 50 60 all depending on my power limit settings so it's a pretty good chunk of power just for some lower end graphics cards and the reward itself is fairly well and i believe with the flux network as well you can run like a node on their network and you're also rewarded by running a node so every time a block is found is 50 percent is rewarded to the miners and the other 50 percent is to the nodes as well so it's pretty cool in that sense it's allowing people other than just mining to actually get involved and be rewarded because that's always been a question that i've noticed on my channel is when I make tutorials on how to run nodes and things, people are always like, oh, do I get rewarded? Do I make like Dogecoin from running a Doge node and stuff? And no, you don't for like those coins. But now with the new like technology we're getting and these new coins, you actually do get rewarded for nodes. So I can do a video on that, but that might be a whole separate thing. I'd have to look into that. But right now we're just gonna focus on the mining aspect and we'll get it set up and running on two or three gigabyte graphics cards. I'm sorry for the long intro, but let's get right into it. All right, so for the first part here, we're gonna be focusing on the two gigabyte graphics cards. And if you come over to the link in the description, it's gonna bring you to the VertHash one-click miner. And this is specifically for two gigabyte graphics cards. The VertCoin algorithm and the or VertHash or VertCoin, whatever you want to call it, it's able to be mined on two gigabyte graphics cards. So essentially what you're doing is mining VertHash and it's converting over to Flux. But this is an a nifty all-in-one program which also has other coins you can go ahead and mine if you're ever interested but once you're on the github here you want to come over to the right hand side where it has releases tab and you want to click on releases and once you're on here you'll see it here the latest one you always want to go for the latest one because as you see in like the description and changes they always add new coins and adding new algorithms and things or new coins and just new payouts and things like that so once you do get onto this GitHub release page, you want to scroll down a bit till you're underneath of this information. And you're going to have all these different files you can download. And you just want to download the corresponding one to your operating system. So for myself, it'll be vert hash one coin miner or one click miner 2.1.4. So we'll just select that for the Windows one and it will download. I already have one downloaded. It's the older version, but we'll just get this running on the new version. So once you have it downloaded, you just want to show all, show in folder, and then same thing here. You just want to right click and then whatever extraction tool you have. So I have 7-zip. You just want to extract the vert hash program to that, to the folder there. And then before you do anything else, just as usual, 
We're going to go to Start Menu and Settings, Update Security, Windows Security. I know I go over this uh, these steps all the time in every video, but I just want to make sure everyone's always doing them. And then Virus and Threat Protection. And once you're in Virus and Threat Protection, you want to scroll down to Manage Settings. And then once you're there, you want to scroll down to Exclusions, Add or Remove Exclusion, click Yes if a pop-up comes up. And then you want to click Add Folder. And then you just want to click the vert hash one click miner um, folder and then make sure it's selected so you just double click it to make sure and then once it's selected it'll go right into there another pop-up might come up and then you just click yes on that as well and then this will just remove it from exclusion so since it's not a verified publisher just made by somebody it just windows will nick it and think it's a virus and this and that just like every other mining software we've been through but as you know this it's obviously not a, a virus it's just it's because it's not a approved publisher so once you have that all done you can close these down here and then you can close out your downloads tab and then so yeah here's the other version I had I'll close that out all right so once you're in the downloads here or wherever you saved it you want to go to the vert hash file and then you want to open up the folder and then you're gonna see vert hash dash OCM which stands for a one-click miner so and then you're just going to open that up and then it's going to install everything and run everything. This might take some time because it has to create and verify the vert hash data file, which is the longest part of it. It might take a little bit for me because I already have one, technically speaking, but this is just a new version. So we'll see if it runs here and we're just going to stop mining because I don't have my graphics card in here right now. So I don't know what it's mining on. So when it first boots up, you might be stuck at that one window for a bit where it says creating and verifying vert hash data file it's because it has to create the data file for vert hash miner for your graphics card but once that's done it will boot up into this window and it'll bring you here and it's gonna almost look like the dogecoin colors because that's what this was mainly made for at first and then you can just click the stop mining and then once you do that you want to go over to the settings and once you're on the settings here as you see there's a few different like options here so the first thing you want to do is select your mining pool. So for me, I am just going to do Z pool here and see what they have. So once you select your pool, you can come over to the coin tab here, wherever you want to pay out in, and it's going to give you a bunch of different coins. And as you see right here, I have flux. So what you do is you select flux and then you put your payout address in for flux coin. So your flux wallet address. And then you're going to be mining at zpool.ca. Like I said, you could also do it at like Zerg pool if you want it because they have flux as well. And then you just put the, your address in there and save and restart and that will get it set up and running for flux. I'm obviously just not going to like restart it and do it here because I don't have my mining graphics card in my recording computer here and I don't have my flux address on this computer. But like I said, once you do have all this set up and running, you will be on this page here. And we'll just go to start mining. I didn't save anything, but I just want to show you guys what it's going to look like, but in the flux form. So right here, you'll most likely have uh, zero points. So yeah, so as you see, it failed right away just because I don't have my GPU, but it's going to show how many flux you have, how many you have on the pool right there and the active pool and things like that. So for me, I'm just going to stop mining. So let's say you were on mining on Z pool you want to come over to Z pool here and then in the wallet address you want to put your flux wallet address and then once you put that there it'll bring you to a stats page so I'll just show you here my Litecoin one that I'm doing right now it'll bring you to your stats page and then it'll have like flux coin and then it'll have like your payout or whatever coin you're like like I said wanting to be paid out in and then this would be the same if you were to go to like if we go here and we go to Zerg pool and then you would just go to your wallet here if you were using Zerg pool you put your wallet address and then select the coin so flux and then your wallet address and find and then that will bring you to the stats page for Zerg pool because there's only a few different pools on this software here Zerg pool and then hash cryptos so there's a few different ones and like I said there's different coins even so if you're interested in trying out different coins you can go ahead and do that as well but like I said, this was just for two gigabytes. So now we're gonna move on to the three gigabyte part of it. So I can show you guys that. So for three gigabyte graphics cards and up, we're gonna be using a mining software called Mini Z. 
and what this mining software is for it supports equihash mainly but it also does et hash and prog pal mining but the main one we're going to be focus focusing on is 125.4 which is zell hash which is the flux coin algorithm so this is the one that you're going to be using if you have three gigabyte graphics card and up so what you want to do is once you're on the website here i'll post a link in the description you just want to come over to the download tab and then there's going to be three different ones here best bet is usually just to go with the latest version so once you're there you're going to come up to this page and it might look a little confusing at first because there's just a lot of like text and information but what you want to do is come up to the top here and this is going to be the beta one in this text here but the ones down here are going to be your main versions the latest releases so for me since i'm on windows here you're just going to click download and it's going to download the mini z mining software and then there's just a password for it so what you want to do is copy the password it has so once you have it downloaded it's going to just be like the other process here we're going to show it in the folder we're going to right click and then you're going to use winrar or 7-zip whatever extraction tool and then you're going to extract to the folder and this is where it's going to ask for that password and then that password just from the website there you're just going to paste it in and you can show the password just to make sure you have it pasted correctly and then you just click OK and that will extract to its own mini Z folder here and then the same process as usual like it says there the virus and threat protection so what you want to do is go to settings and then you want to go to update and security Windows security virus and threat protection it's gonna say action needed whatever but it's not an actual virus it's just because it's a mining software and then you go to manage settings add or remove exclusion add an exclusion add a folder and then you just go in here and then you add the mini z folder just as you would with any other mining software folder and then once you're done that that should take away that threat and then you can just reopen it here and then once you have it all added to your exclusions and ready to go so once you have it all extracted and ready to go from the exclusions you just want to open the folder again and then you're going to see two different softwares here the mini z application and mini z gui what i recommend doing is using the gui as this is going to help set up your batch or command file so you can actually start mining yourself here so what we're going to do is open up the mini z underscore gui i'll let that open up here so yeah hopefully it should still open because i just don't have a graphics card so it's going to bring up this gui launcher and then this first box here is going to have all these different boxes and information that we're going to have to input. But I'm going to walk you guys through that. So for the name here, is this going to be the bat file name? So you can make it whatever name you want. I'm just going to leave it as mini Z mine. And then for server and port, you're obviously going to want to select a pool. So for my sake, I'm just going to use Z pool just for tutorial purpose here. And then what we're going to do is scroll down to where it says stratum generator. And then once you're on the stratum generator, you're going to select your region. And then what you want to do is depending on the pool, it might be listed as like Zell hash, but it could mean most of the time it will be listed as Equihash 125.4 on some websites or just 125. And then you want to select that as your algorithm. So, and then as you see here, it says server slash port. So what we're going to do is take the server URL. So just forget about the stratum plus TCP because it will do all that for you. So you just paste the server URL right there. And then what you want to do is copy the port. So this goes for any pool that you are using for uh, Fluxcoin here. So then you paste the port and then just like that and then it will automatically put in like the colons and everything for you but right here for wallet you want to put in like the Fluxcoin wallet or whatever coin you're planning to convert to. So for example, I would use, let's just open up this here and we'll use my Litecoin address just for temporary purpose here. So what you'll do is paste the wallet address there. And then what that does, like I said, it's going to be your wallet address that you're using for the coin that you are actually mining. So may it be Flux coin or whatever one you're converting to. And then obviously you can have a worker ID if you want um, for this like depending on the pool some might say to have this as worker ID or put this there so just follow mainly the instructions on your pool and fill it in corresponding to the GUI here so here obviously I don't need any uh, worker name there's just username and password so for password here for example I would you could do 
let's say, light coin, because what I want to do is convert the flux coin over to light coin. You can directly mine flux coin, like I said. There's a few different pools I'll quickly show you at the end here. But once you're once you do that, you want to go to the algorithm here, and then you can you can leave it as auto because most of the time it will pick up on what pool you're using and what coin you're mining. But if you know exactly what, like I said here, one two five point four. That will automatically make it so it jumps right to the flux coin mining algorithm and then for here for purrs i know it sounds like a weird word you're gonna see all these different things here and you're gonna be like what is all this like what are all these different ones say zell proof and you got equive pow so these are all different pr proof of work algorithms so what you want to do is select this top one for auto and this will be for any pool as well it's going to automatically select it corresponding to your pool so it's pretty straightforward. You just want to fill in the boxes with the corresponding information from the pool you're using. You can use a pool like, I'll quickly show you. We can go to miners. And then they have a whole different selection of pools. So as you see here, they have a whole bunch of different ones. But as the main one we're talking about is Flux. So right here, you can directly mine Flux on this website here. You can solo mine, you can pool mine, you can do whatever. There's a few different options they have. If you scroll right down to the bottom of their website, you can see their solo options. And the um, two miners is one of the like top pools for like activity and such. There's always people on it. The pool's always running, they're always finding blocks. So it's a good starting point. But like I said, if you're wanting to convert to other coins, like I usually do, I usually don't directly mine like flux coin and keep a whole stash of flux coin i mine the algorithm because it's profitable and convert it over to litecoin or dogecoin or whatever coin i want so if that's the case for you too you want to use something like zpool or zergpool but if you want to directly mine flux coin you want to go ahead and use two miners or a direct mining pool of that sort so like i said once you have all the information ready to go you can go ahead and click start and like I said, it might not start for me yet because I don't have anything, but it will start up with all the correct information. It's going to tell you what CUDA your device has found. I'm erroring out because I don't have a GPU in here. But as you see, it all like it will work fine. It'll read your card. And if you do end up needing a different CUDA version, we can go back to the website here and you can click older versions. So as you see here, you can literally like look up the different versions and it says right here what different versions of CUDA uses there's even CUDA 8 CUDA 11 so it all depends on your graphics card to be used for like the CUDA version so like if you have an older 3 gigabyte graphics card you might need a different CUDA version so there's a lot of different variables but for the vert hash one that's just a straight up one click mining software so you won't have to worry about any certain CUDA versions for that it will automatically detect that in that sense and then once you run that gui and you run this mining software for mini z it will have the batch file made here afterwards so you don't always have to run that gui every time you want to go mining it will create the batch file here so if we go to edit you can see how the whole batch file is made and you can go ahead and manually edit this stuff too so if you want to change your address to something else you want to change the payout anything like that or you can just go ahead and use the gui again and then you can set it up that way too. It makes it fairly easy. I kind of wish that like some other softwares would have a GUI as well, because that's very straightforward for most people. You don't have to sit there and type out your own code. They say fill in these boxes, click start, and you're ready to go. But yeah, that's all pretty much it for today's video. I know it was a bit longer of a video, but I wanted to combo in both versions of graphics cards. So that way you guys just can get an overall experience and if you have some old two gigabyte cards laying around even some old three gigabyte you can get up and running on some flux like i said also to neoscript zaya and my other recent tutorial that i posted a few days ago that one is very it's very profitable for three gigabyte graphics card i haven't tried it on two gigabyte because i don't think there is a way to yet but overall it seems like it's a solid like project and solid coin to actually go ahead and start mining and like I said, you can go on their website and you can look at the node aspect of things and you can be paid out for running a node as well. But yeah, overall, I hope this tutorial helped you guys in any way or I hope you learned something from it. If you did enjoy or if this did help you, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe button as it lets me know that I'm like producing good content and you guys are actually like getting help from it and enjoying it yourselves. 
but I hope you all have an amazing day, and this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.